So today my problem is distribute coins in a binary tree. Uh, each node of that binary tree will have a certain number associated with this and that number denotes how much coin that particular node has. So my job is to return the number of moves that is required to make every node have exactly one coin. And it is given that if you want to move one coin, it will take exactly uh, one move. So if we take a look at example one, uh, one move will be required to, to move that coin from, from the root node three to its left child and another move will be required to move that uh, a coin from its root node to its right, uh, right, uh, right child so that everyone has exactly one coin. So the answer will be two here. So <clears throat> uh, how will we actually approach this question is Firstly, I'll try to solve the the very sub problem of this. Uh, we'll solve an, uh, we'll solve this problem on the node that has the minimum dependency, and that will be the leaf node because it does not have any any sort of issue of its child. So first, let's uh, let's uh, see how we'll solve it on its leaf node, and after that, we'll move on to the parent itself. So for better understanding, let's take a look at this example. <clears throat> example one. This is the same example one. Okay. So if I want to talk about this node, I'm just talking about this node right now. Okay. So uh, there are only three possibilities here. Either the number of coins that it may have is equal to one, either it is greater than one, or either it is uh, or either it is less than one. So if it has uh, if it has, <coughs> if it has uh, already exact if it already has exactly one coin, <coughs> then how many number of moves do we require? We don't. Uh, we only require zero number of moves because since it's a leaf node and it already has one coin, we don't need to do anything further, right? Uh, if it has exactly one coin with the number of moves that we required is zero but if it has less number of coins than one then it can only have zero number of coins it's not possible for uh, it to have negative number of coins so if it has zero number of coins <clears throat> how many moves do you think it will require so that it gets one coin it will only it will only require one one coin right it will only require one coin so that it can get one one coin from its parent that will exactly uh, you know calculate uh, count it as one move so that is the answer if it has uh, less value than one now what if it has you know more value than one so let's uh, if i take the example of this image you know uh, if i take example of this image here it has more than one coin so how many steps do you think it will take me so that this 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 leaf node has exactly one coin so the answer is it will take two moves because it has two additional coins right so it will take me exactly two moves so that uh, it only has one coin so if we just you know if we try to formulate a for, uh, try to you know form a formula We'll, we'll find that uh, there's a certain pattern and I'm just talking about a leaf node here. So the number of steps that a leaf node will uh, will require so that it get uh, it gets exactly one coin will always be equal to the mod of, sorry, n minus one, uh, where n is the number of coins that it has. So uh, let's take a look, uh, let's try to for, fit this formula. So here it has zero coins, right? So zero minus one will give me minus one. If I take a mod, it will give me a value of one, which means that uh, I need one move so that it gets one coin. And yeah, that is exactly correct. So if I put the formula in this image, it has three coins, three minus one will give me two. And I only require two moves so that, you know, this particular node has exactly one coin. So yeah, that is the, you know, that is the formula that we, that we will use for a leaf node. So we are done with the leaf node part. Now, how are we going to solve the parent node? So solving a parent node is pretty simple because, you know, once we are done with the leaf node, we have already solved half of the question. So the, the, the number of steps that a parent will require will depend on the number of, uh, the number of steps that it's uh, left and that it's right child require. So how many, how many, uh, you know, how many uh, steps does this, this left child will require? It will require two steps, right? So that it gets one coin. Now, what about this child? It will uh, require, it will require exactly one coin. Uh, it will require exactly one step so that it can get one step. Uh, it can get, uh, it can, uh, sorry, so that it can get exactly one coin. So if I just add both of them, two plus one, I'll get an answer of three and that will that shows me how many number of moves I require so that everyone get exactly one coin. Now uh, let's see. Suppose uh, it it has three three coins, right? So it will take me two moves so that this this particular node can get two coins. Okay. So right uh, right now I have two as my answer. After that I'll add one because you know uh, this 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 parent node will need to give one coin here. So after that I'll add one and I'll get my answer as three. So that is how we are going to solve the answer of the parent node itself. Now. Uh, <clears throat> let's take a look at uh, this example also how many co how many coins does uh, sorry how many coins does uh, this has it has two so how many steps does this uh, this particular node require it requires only one step what about this node it has also uh, it also requires one step so that it can get one coin or it can get one coin so the total answer will be one plus one that will be two and we only need two moves so that everyone can get one coin so yes uh, one coin will move from here to here and then one coin will move from here to here so that will only require me two number of moves. Now, uh, as for the best example, let's try to understand this. Okay. So <clears throat> here we have uh, three coins in the, in the, sorry, we have, here we have three coins in the leaf node. So 
how many steps do you think uh, will require only two steps so that this particular node gets two coin right i'll just move uh, push off uh, all the overload coin uh, overload coins that i have so this will require you know it will get two coins and i'll i'll move two steps done now what about this coin i'll what about uh, now what about this i need exactly one move so that i can you know push off one coin to here so after that it will get one coin and i'll i'll get one move all but uh, one extra move and after that this will you know this will uh, push off the one coin to this part and i'll get one extra move so the answer that i'll get will uh, the answer that i will get is four so my answer for this question will be four and that is also correct uh, we only need four number of steps okay so uh, if you have already noticed this then you can uh, you can see that the the number of the number of steps that a parent will require the number of steps that a parent will require will always be you know sum of how many steps its left child and its right child will require and the number of you know the number of value that the parent will return will always be equal to uh, you know the the sum of the left steps plus the right steps plus how much value it has on its own minus one so here its uh, its right child will uh, will give him two steps right yeah. I'm just telling you how how are we going to calculate how many how much value this this particular node will return. So its right child will return its a value of two. Okay, so two plus how many coins it has on its own. So he has zero coins. Okay, and minus one minus one. Why? Because you know he needs to have one coin for himself. So he will return exactly one coin. Uh, he will sorry he will uh, return exactly one coin. So it will take exactly one number of move. So that is the formula that we'll be using. I'll just now you show you the code for this. Sorry. Okay, so uh, firstly, I need to have a variable that will store my answer that will be self dot answer. After that, since I am doing sort of a, a DFS, since I I firstly need to reach the leaf node, so from there I can you know I can uh, start solving my solution. So count steps here. I'll uh, pass a parameter that will be root, and for the first thing that I need to check is if my if my root is empty or not. So if my root is empty, then I simply return zero because it means that I have reached. Uh, dead end. So after from here, I'll return zero. Otherwise, otherwise, what I'll do is I'll I'll sorry, base my cursor. Okay. Otherwise, I need to you know calculate the left steps, the the amount of steps that its left child require and the right steps. So for that, I'll do a recursive call count and root dot left done. Right steps will be count steps root dot right okay and uh, my answer will be equal to <clears throat> uh, so how many steps uh, a particular node sorry how many you know uh, a parent node will have that simple the left steps plus the right steps since the answer will depend on how many steps its left child and its right child require as for the leaf node there's no need because you know it uh, it does not have any left or right child and the number of value it returns how many number of you know coins it will return i'm just returning how many number of coins it returns so the formula is pretty simple the number of coin that particular node has plus left steps plus right sorry right steps minus one so if you want you can just take a look at this uh, as from the perspective of both of a parent node and leaf node so if you take up this from the perspective of a leaf node the left step uh, and the right step will be zero because they don't have any left child or right child and the number of coin that it requires is uh, root minus one i'm not i'm not taking mod here i'm taking mod uh, when i'm calculating the value there okay so now if you just look at the perspective from the root node as we you know as we took it uh, in this example the number of you know the number of coins that it will return is how many number of coins it's a uh, uh, sorry how many number of coins it has assimilated on its own so that will depend on how many coins its uh, left and chi right child has given so here his right child has given him exactly two coins plus how many number of coins he has on uh, he has on its own that will be zero right and minus one since he needs one coin for himself so he will return exactly one coin and yeah that is correct so that is the formula that we have used in here uh, okay so firstly this will be self answer plus equals to yeah okay so yes we are done with this just i need to call this function count steps i'll pass root return sorry self dot answer okay now let's run this code okay yeah so it works now let's submit it yeah so it works perfectly and uh, this was my solution for uh, what for this problem uh, the distribution of coins in a binary tree and thank you